So here I'm going to show you how we're going to do quizzes and homeworks and exams for the rest of this semester. So again, uh, I'm going to show it for sort of Chem 141, but for my Chem 142 students, everything is pretty much the same, only you're going to go to a, a, different, a different page, but it'll, it, it'll look exactly the same as the one I'm about to show you. So here we are in our JetNet page. And over here on the right-hand side, it says McGraw-Hill Campus. So you're going to click on the McGraw-Hill Campus. And there is a code. If you, the first time you log in, you're going to need a code, but that is written in the updates. So it's right here. So in the update that you had read for today, um, there's the code. That should be all that you need. And then you're going to click on the connect. And then what you're going to see is something that looks like this. So this is what your, the layout will be. Now, obviously, more things are going to get added. There's a bunch of stuff that's sort of missing, but I sort of want to talk about it. So uh, up here in the front are some videos that you, so over here on the right-hand side are little arrows. Um, the first couple of sections are some videos to sort of like help you learn how to use Connect. That's what this software package, where we're doing our homeworks and quizzes, um, that's where it is. Then the smart book is sort of like the textbook that we're using. So we, this Burge Overby textbook, Chemistry Atoms First, is another textbook that you're going to kind of have access to. You don't have to pay for it. You're not having to pay for any of this stuff. So as you're going through these, they will give you sort of like links to a textbook. It's to this textbook here, which you can play around with um, as you will. So... Here also is the chapter six representing molecules. So that is the chapter sort of on what we're covering. So it's got additional information. So the important parts are the homework problems and the quiz, right? Now, homework problems in our normal lecture was you turn those in for points. This is a little bit different. The only thing that is worth points is these quizzes, right? So for example, here, your 3-3 and 3-4 quiz are going to be taken at the same time. And you're going to have to do it sometime between the 22nd of March and the 25th of March. If we go over to our schedule, this is the Chem 141 schedule, as it stands right now. You see that for between March 22nd and 24th, you're responsible for sections 3-3 and 3-4. And then starting on next this coming Wednesday on the 25th, between Wednesday the 25th and the 31st of March, which is the following Tuesday, so you have a whole week to work on section 3.5, 3.6, and 3.7. So the homework and the quiz for those will pop up later. So as, so as of right now, you can see the only thing that's available is 3.3 and 3.4. So what you want to do is you're going to want to um, look over the lecture notes for 3.3 and 3.4, watch all the screencasts for 3, 3, and 3, 4. And then what you're going to want to do is come and so here's the homework problems due by the 25th. As you can see at midnight on Tuesday, it shuts down. We click on this and it will ask, uh, it will give us some information. Don't worry about the points for the homework problems. And then it will start going through uh, a series of questions. So um, you can save after you've done a couple, you can save and come back and it will put you back where you were before. So you don't have to do the homework problems all at once. You are going to have to do the quiz questions, though, all at once. So I'm going to jump through, actually, a, uh, a couple of questions. So the idea of the homework questions is a really just sort of like worked out problems. So here it says, uh, draw the Lewis structure for N2, F2. And you can do that however you want. You can sort of like work it out beforehand, or what you. Uh, but the purpose of the homeworks is for you to actually use these over here. So they'll give you a hint, they'll give you a solution, and they'll even walk you through the entire thing, right? You can do an attempt and then click on check my work, all sorts of stuff. Again, the homeworks you're not getting you're not getting any points for getting the right answer because what I actually want you to do is sort of like work through all these problems and actually make an attempt at them, and then kind of like look at the solutions and check your work. This is meant for you to, you know, practice these, you know, and pretty much hold your hand, if you will, for all of these problems. And working on those homework problems is going to help. Again, if you want to, um, 
So this is question number five. If you want to pause and maybe come back later, what you can do is hit save and exit. And then what will happen is the next time you log back in, it will remember where you were, right? So it's been saved and we can either go back or we can exit out. I want to exit out now. And then the next part is um, the quiz. So the quiz is when you're ready, right? Now the quiz, you've only got, I think, 20 minutes, I believe. It will tell you when you click on it. You can see right now it's sort of locked. That will become unlocked um, starting on March 22nd, which is uh, tomorrow sometime. So by the time you guys are checking this out, the quiz will be valid. Do not open up this quiz until you are ready to go because the quizzes are, as soon as you open it up, the, t the clock starts and you have about 20 minutes um, to get through the questions. It could be five or six or seven, some odd number of questions. You should have plenty of time, 20 minutes to do the quiz. The idea is, is that you gotta go, you gotta go pretty quick. Um, they're kind of open note, but you won't have enough time to do all the questions if you don't practice it beforehand. So again, the homework problems are what you wanna practice beforehand. They'll work you through it. If you can get through all the homework problems and know how to do the homework problems, the quiz questions should be relatively straightforward. So right now, only three, three, and three, four are sort of exposed. As we get closer, then the other ones will be exposed, right? And so again, here is the schedule. This is for 141, the schedule as it stands here today when I'm recording this, um, sort of breaking down what days we're doing what. Hopefully this won't change very much between now and the end. The one thing that is exposed, just so you see it, is your third exam. Um, you're gonna have three days to do it, Wednesday, April 1st uh, through the 3rd of April. So you're given three full days. Um, and the exam four is at the end of April. And as we said in the other video, all the labs are sort of at the end. So this is the tool that we're gonna use. Obviously more stuff will, will be changing as we go along, but that's the gist of it.